Hello everyone. You ready to get kinky? Hmm? Get your mouth a gutter. Kinky, come on. So it wouldn't be Valentine's Day if you didn't have a drink that had kinky in it, am I right? Okay. So I'm doing kind of um like a Valentine's series, and I've kind of challenged myself to try and make a drink every day up to Valentine's Day. So we'll see how that goes. So, you know, so far I'm doing pretty okay, but trying to figure out what I'm gonna make. That's the hard part. And I've got figured out what I'm making today. And I noticed something. I noticed that I've been using a lot of strawberry and pineapple together, even though the taste is phenomenal. It's January, well, February, technically. Wow, where did January go? It's February. And you know, February is rainy and just gross. There's no sunshine and fun, but maybe, maybe that's why I subconsciously I'm trying to pretend like I'm on the beach somewhere. So today I'm doing kind of a spin and twist on a kind of a, um, a traditional pina colada and strawberry daiquiri. Now, if you've never tried this, this stuff before, this kinky, this is the Aloha. It's a fusion of coconut, pineapple, and lime. And this is just an absolute phenomenal flavor. Um, it's, you know, it's not full of sugar or anything. It's all natural. And it actually takes the guesswork out of adding all the other ingredients to a daiquiri or pina colada, which is really not a lot because I'm adding a lot to this one. <laughs> so I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to do banana, pineapple, and strawberry. And I'm doing strawberry mostly because this is kind of a Valentine's day thing, but I'm also doing it not for the color, but also just for the flavor. I just think that these, the combination of these fruits, it is fabulous. So I put a little bit of ice in my, my little blender. I use half a banana and then I'm going to cut up a few strawberries. Now I usually, you know, I'm not real big on using like flavorings, something like that, but I did read that, you know, it's, it's not artificial. It's not, you know, all these sugars and it's actually, it's like organic, all natural. So I tried it and I'm glad I kind of went out of my comfort zone a little bit. Cause I usually make my own, you know, I'll bring, I'll get pineapple, not pineapple, but, um, coconut milk, coconut water, stuff like that. And then I kind of make my own and sometimes it just, it gets crazy, but you can also use this. I mean, it's already done for you and you can do just a variety of flavors and you already have this made. So you don't have to worry about going and buying, you know, a hundred different things for drinks when you've got one thing right here. So that helps a lot too, especially this time of year. You know what I mean? If it's Valentine's Day and you want to make something fun and special, but you don't want to sit in the, in the uh, kitchen all day making something, then it is better to have stuff like that. But this is what I do. I, you know, I love to be in my kitchen. I love to be creating drinks. I love to be creating ideas for foods. And so, I mean, this is my happy place. So it doesn't bother me one bit being in here doing this. I have discovered that 1835 has a rum. Didn't know that. This is a Texas brand and I have their bourbon and I saw they had a rum. So I bought the rum because I'm all about backing up Texas businesses. I'm going to do two shots of this in here. Now I'm going to use my kinky. It's a pretty funny name too. Oh my God, that's so fitting for Valentine's Day. This, uh, I believe it does have a little bit of alcohol. Let's see. Um, yeah, it's, it's a liqueur. So it's the 17%. That's okay. I'm going to do one and a half shots of this. A lot of it's for the flavor. Now, let's see. Oh, hold on, I forgot my bottom. I knew I forget something. It's too good to be true that this was going to go smoothly. Now, I'm just going to blend all of this stuff together. Okay. My house smells like a tropical island. It's insane. Like I said, I've been using a lot of these flavors. And if you watch some of these videos, you'll see that I'm using kind of different spins on using uh, pineapple, strawberry. It's, it's strange. And I, like I said, maybe it is just a subconscious thing. 
Oh well, gotta go to the beach sometime, huh? Ooh, that smells so good. Pour it in my glass. Look how pretty. See, that's Valentine's Day. Nice and red. Now I'm not gonna fill it all the way up because why? You got it. Sparkling water. Now this is sparkling ice. Uh, I use Cascade ice also, but sparkling ice is something I used probably four or five years ago just to drink. And I'm like, oh, okay. Well, now they have so many flavors. It is just un I mean, unreal. This is coconut pineapple. It's perfect. So that's what I'm going to top my drink with. Their, their waters are amazing. I look at that. Cheers to a tropical Valentine's Day. Oh God, that is so good. Oh my God. Mmm, yum. Make that. Make that for Valentine's Day. Ooh, if you're a woman and you're making it, why don't you put on a bikini? Well, if you want to, I wouldn't because I know how I look. Put on a, like some bikini. Bring that to your man and maybe he'll take you on vacation because <laughs> it's it's pretty darn good. Mmm, yum. And then to top it with the water just brings the flavors to another level. And it is just absolutely fantastic. Now, the, the sparkling ice, as I was saying a while ago, this is actually, it has antioxidants and vitamins. So, you know me, I, anything that I can put into my cocktails or anywhere that I can that helps to elevate the flavors, and it also helps you stay hydrated, helps you a little bit. I mean, it's got antioxidants in it. So, I mean, I, I love that. And like I said, the flavor range. I mean, here I have coconut pineapple, black raspberry, and ginger lime. I mean, I have three of them right here that I've been using. And, you know, just this really good. You can drink it plain. This is something I like to put in plain water to help elevate the flavor of plain water. And you get your antioxidants and vitamins. So... That's something to think about when you're making cocktails. Always keep it healthy, right? Well, thank you for watching today's Valentine inspired video. I've got to go sit down and think about being on a beach, my feet in the sand, and think of more drinks to make for my Valentine series. So cheers to everyone out there. Cheers to all of you loves. Thanks for watching my video. I will put the description, I will put the recipe in the description box below. I will have everything down there for you to make this fantastic drink. See you in my next video.